weather with Damian Lotus. We had absolutely spectacular weather yesterday. This afternoon won't be too bad. It'll be a little bit cloudy, a little bit muggy, but overall we're going to see nice weather until some storm chances move into the forecast heading into tonight. Let's get you ready here for your Sunday morning, taking first a live look at our storm scanner. A little bit of cloud coverage here for central Oklahoma, but increasing cloud coverage, as you can see there, off to our west. And this is going to be cloud coverage that slowly works its way here into the metro. Temperatures outside, a little bit chilly for some parts. 43 right now along Highway 81 between Kingfisher, Okarchi, and El Reno. Here in Oklahoma City, 55. Across the rest of the state, we have a mix of 40s and 50s. Here's your heading out the door. Maybe light jacket weather here for some because, yes, it will be a chilly start for some parts of the state. But as we head into this afternoon, overall not too bad. A little bit cloudier than yesterday. Normal high for this time of year is supposed to be 75. We'll be a couple degrees above that once again. Sunrise at 639 here in about 30 minutes. But, yeah, overall lighter winds for this afternoon. Now that's going to be a win, right? As we head throughout today, future track radar, 5 o'clock. I'll be watching out for a chance of thunderstorms developing across the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. These storms are going to start to work their way into the state after sunset, here's a snapshot at 10 o'clock. You can see these thunderstorms working their way into western Oklahoma. So here for Oklahoma City, up until about midnight, looks like we're going to be in the clear here as far as the storm chances go. And before the storms move in, I'll be tracking partly cloudy skies, highs in the mid to upper 70s to low 80s here across the state. Pretty much, if you are along I-40 and to the south, you will see a chance of having highs today in the 80s. Now across western Oklahoma, it will be dry enough and windy enough to where we'll see increased and increased risk of fire danger. So we'll see critical to extreme conditions out there. So I'll continue to track that. As far as the overall storm chance for this evening, it'll be a low chance here across far western Oklahoma as we head into tonight. But for tonight, that's when the thunderstorms really start to work their way into the forecast here for central, eastern, especially southeastern Oklahoma. There could be a flooding threat here as we head into tonight. So future track radar showing here for the Oklahoma City metro, our peak threat for severe weather is going to be right around 2 to 3 a.m. here for tonight. So overnight thunderstorm chances here along the I-35 corridor. These storms are really going to start to intensify as they push the way off to the east. So eastern Oklahoma, here's a snapshot at 6 a.m. You can really see those thunderstorm chances expanding as we head into tonight with overnight lows, a mix of 50s and 60s. Here's the storm chance here as we head into Monday night. A really good chance of storms, especially across northern and southern parts of the state. We'll see two separate areas of thunderstorm development as we head throughout the day on Monday. And you can see that, especially as we head into Monday evening. Here's a snapshot at 10 o'clock. Thunderstorm chances right here along the I-44 corridor, including the Oklahoma City metro, and more thunderstorm chances there across southeastern parts of the state. Seven-day forecast, partly cloudy skies, high stay will make it to the mid to upper 70s. It'll be a warm and muggy afternoon. It will be breezy from time to time, but not nearly as windy as what we have been seeing. Tracking that 40% chance of overnight thunderstorms, more thunderstorm chances in the forecast Monday evening. And then after that, a cold front's going to sweep its way through, dropping us into the 60s on Tuesday. And then after that, tracking a really good chance of thunderstorms, some severe weather possible once again on Wednesday into Thursday morning. I'll continue to track that. But after that, Caitlin, we're going to see some pretty nice weather late this week and heading into Mother's Day weekend, which, um, full disclosure, Bria Berry actually had to remind me that Mother's Day is next weekend. Because oh, I'm not fun. saying I forgot, but let's just say it might have possibly skipped my mind. Oh, so, uh, well, it didn't skip my mind, Mom. Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> You're a great daughter. Of yeah. course, of course I am. Yeah. Thank you, Damien.